Hello Pirates. If you are watching this video, you need a little bit of help on how to identify nuclear reactions. <clears throat> it could seem like a daunting task, because uh, honestly, when you look at this page of reactions, it's somewhat intimidating. What I would like to do is walk you through a couple quick steps on how to identify these uh, and how to differentiate between the types of reactions. So, um, there's a couple other wonderful videos done by Mr. Smith as far as giving you a lot of background on uh, nuclear reactions, the types of nuclear reactions, uh, how to complete the nuclear reactions. This video is simply on identifying. So if you're given one or a group of reactions, how are you going to uh, differentiate between the types of reactions? So <clears throat> we have to remember we have our alpha, beta, gamma, fission, fusion. Okay. Uh, Honestly, the way I like to do these, I like to uh, do the fission and fusion reactions first. Okay, both of these reactions, um, they have uh, two elements or, or two um, substances. Uh, sometimes it's a neutron, sometimes it's an element, whatever it is. <clears throat> Let's just call it two things. So two things on the left on the reactant side. Okay, we're keeping it really simple. It's got, these have two things. So, and here's what I mean by that. Sometimes when I look at this sheet, what I find pretty helpful to do is actually identify first the left and the right or the reaction, the reactants and the products of the reactions. Because sometimes it just really helps to kind of focus your eye on that. Another step uh, with an iPad is kind of nice. You can even do this and simply eliminate it. First saying, hey, I'm looking for the reactions that have two things on the left-hand side. Well, and here, we'll even make it even simpler. Let's get rid of all that stuff. Okay, now I have a list. All I have to do is identify that this and this, those are the reactions that have two things on the left-hand side. So those are the possible reactions. Now, look, when I put all that back, it looks a lot more confusing, right? <clears throat> but you've already done all that work. You know, have identified, hey, I know that these are either fission or fusion, okay? The next one I look for is I look for the, let me get back to my color here. I look for the fusion reaction, okay? This will have one thing. And again, I'm using very, very just generic, simple terms here. One thing on the right. Sometimes I think we overcomplicate this. So it's just one thing on the right. So again, I'm looking at this reaction and this reaction, and I just say, okay, that's my stuff on the right. That's my stuff on the right. Which one has one thing on the right? And yes, it is definitely not this equation down here. Uh, it is this equation on the top. So this one is my fusion reaction. Okay because that lithium and that hydrogen are fusing together uh, to form that helium, okay? All right, so that left us, we had this one highlighted before, I'll put that back up there. Um, and since that does not have one thing, uh, that is our fission reaction, that's breaking. So if we remember that neutron smacked into that uranium, it broke it apart, caused a big chain reaction, and it's a whole big hot mess, literally. So this is our fission reaction down here, okay? So we've knocked those two out, and there may be more. I mean, you may have a list that has 20, 30, whatever. Um, but honestly, the way I like to do it is I like to identify, you know what, I'm going to leave those purple the whole time because it's really important to note the difference of them. Okay, the other three, alpha, beta, gamma, okay, these have uh, one thing on the left. Again, so different than nuclear. So it's kind of a redundant statement. We've already talked, we already identified that they are not fission or fusion, but if given the list, what I mean by that, and let's switch our colors here, <clears throat> you only have one element, okay? One element, these are decay reactions. Um, so you have one element on the left-hand side. The difference, obviously, so it's on the right-hand side. Let's zoom in here. I have uh, element, 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 and then I have energy, another element, and an E. Okay, so now I got to remember, okay, what is the difference between all these things? Let's figure this thing out. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, you could pick any of these that you want. 
honestly, I th- I'll just start from the top. Alpha, I have my my personal favorites, I guess. But Alpha in the products, okay. So on the left hand side, you're gonna get you always, always, always have a four two helium because that's considered an alpha particle. It may be listed as just a four helium. Uh, it may even be listed as you may see like an alpha symbol. Okay. Um, by the way, just so we know, like this means it's an understood two. Okay. Understood two. Because that is the atomic number of helium. So you don't necessarily have to write it. So I'm going to remove this because I'm going to need that room later. So I'm looking for an equation that has one of these things. It kind of just depends uh, what system the uh, quiz is written on. Um, but so I'm looking for that helium. I have a helium right here. Okay, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So this means this is my alpha. Okay, that's my alpha decay reaction. Let's go back up. Let's look at the others. Let's get rid of this. Let's go back to my color I've been using. For beta. For beta, you're going to see, uh, could see a couple things. It may say minus 1. E, it's an electron, uh, or you may see it listed as like a, a beta symbol. Uh, sometimes you even see it listed as like a negative beta symbol. Again, it just kind of depends. You have to be flexible. You have to understand that uh, you will see a, some minute differences, so don't be robotic about the process. But again, I'm looking for that uh, electron or beta, something like that. I come back down. I see an electron right here. Okay, so this is my beta decay. That's going to really annoy me that that alpha is in different color, so I'm going to change it. And I come back up. The last one I'm going to have is gamma. It's my personal favorite. It's kind of, in my opinion, the uh, simplest to find. So with gamma on the right-hand side, okay, because all of them have one thing on the left, so now we're looking on the right, uh, you're going to see it listed as energy uh, or you might see it listed as um, a, like a gamma particle. So it's going to look like that kind of, okay? Uh, <clears throat> it rarely, but sometimes I've even seen it listed as gamma. That almost never happens, but and I doubt we would do that on a quiz because that would be kind of silly. So we're looking for something that says energy or the gamma symbol or the word gamma, uh, but right here, big. And, and the nice thing about this, the, the reason I like it is because you start with this element and you end with this element and nothing changes. All it does is it gives off energy, which I then, you know, going back to those previous quizzes, uh, you didn't have to do any math. You don't have to make sure that your um, masses add up and your, your protons don't add up. It doesn't matter. So this is my gamma reaction. Okay. So again, identifying these reactions um, do it any way you want. Uh, understand that fission and fusion have a major difference in that fission and fusion as highlighted in purple. Uh, they're the ones that have two things uh, on the left. Okay. Um, so it, sometimes it's nice to identify those, get those out of the way. And then you're looking at your alpha, beta, gammas. Alphas, you have uh, your uh, HE, your helium, your 4,2 helium, or your alpha particle. Uh, betas, you're looking at a, an electron or a beta symbol. Uh, and for gamma, simply you have energy or gamma. So uh, again, just these are for just identifying your reactions. Uh, don't let a page of equations intimidate you. Uh, use your iPad or just use your test taking skills to eliminate things that aren't necessary and to focus on the things that you know uh, how to identify. Okay, hope.